The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow Industrials down 154, NASDAQ down 9, S&P's down 9, gold contract down uh, $3.20 trading at 13.11 an ounce. You have silver down, uh, that's getting hit, uh, interesting, 16 cents, $15.48 an ounce. Light sweet crude down uh, 30 cents, $53.62. The story out here, folks, just keeps going. You want the most consistent information in the marketplace? It's the note and bond market. Ten-year note up 15 ticks, 122.07. 30-year bond up a full point, 146.23. And if you want to see something that's amazing, the 10-year note, folks, has already done a million contracts. One million. We came down yesterday with 1.3. The 10-year note, bottom line, is going to do about 3 million contracts today. Um, you know, yesterday got stopped right in its tracks, even on that CPI number. Bottom line, these things want higher price, lower yield in a huge way. King Dollar, King Dollar still fighting uh, to try to get up and over its high. You're at 97 right now, up 62 ticks. Uh, you get the euro trading at the uh, 112.86. The yen is at 110.72. The pound is at 127.75, all to one U.S. dollar. Pretty amazing. That's notes and bonds, right? Oh, for sure. I was just zooming in right on that 830, of course, retail sales. I'm yep. sure we'll be talking a lot about that. Big numbers, man. And guess what? You know, lower, higher price, lower yield coming at you. Got to love it. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, you want to understand option, option strategies, futures, all of the above, Great show, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Kevin and his team, they're putting on trades, taking off trades, having you understand whether you're a bull, whether you're a bear, what type of setups. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Now, you guys are in Florida, so it's hard for me to do this winter analogy that I'm going to give you. That's all but right. But this retail sales number was remember when you were young and they threw the snowball up in the air and when you looked up in the air they hit you right in the face with another snowball that was always a good one oh, yeah. i like that move. totally <laughs> totally that's what this number was because traders woke up this morning thinking my goodness we got good data out of china yeah futures were all up and looking good and then you got just whacked right by this retail sales number that you know in all honesty <laughs> Unless you want to make the case that it's an anomaly, there's no good way to spin this. Well, this is a horrible number. Yeah, well, you know what's interesting, too, and we've been talking about it, Kevin, is that the, the aspect of, you know, Amazon came out. I mean, they had good numbers. That's the, that's the reality. And it seemed like the companies that have stayed alive are going to be alive. Yep. You know, yeah. I mean, that's kind of my take on it. That, you know, There's been um, a lot of separation already, right? There, there has. There yeah. has. Um, and, you know, guess what? People spent less money, I guess, you know? I mean, that being said, right. it's kind of interesting when you look at the, the high-end retailers, you know, whether it's the Gucci's or the, um, you know, the coaches and all this, they come out with big numbers, man. So it's like, okay, right. you know, inside of that number, I'm sure, you know, by the end of today and another two, three or four hours, we'll find out where, who wasn't making money. Where, where I right. mean, is it yeah. one segment? Is it is it the Macy's of the deal again, which sure. I love Macy's, but right. bottom line, you know, maybe it is, you know? Hey, the, you know, the one good way you can kind of digest this number is to think that when this number was compiled, which was holiday sales mid to late December, remember what the market was doing there. So maybe that caused uh, the U.S. consumer to pause a little bit because of the overall market was basically mid to late December was crashing. Oh, that's a great point. Right, on a daily yeah. basis. Yes. So maybe that caused some pause in some of the retail, uh, you know, the U.S. consumer. No, now, the, but, but here's the thing. Think about this. If it were, the number got better because of autos, not worse. Usually autos kind of sometimes drag on yeah. a retail sales number. X autos down 1.8%. 
So the headline number down 1.2 was actually helped by auto sales, which you don't normally see. But the bigger picture for this is what people looking forward, how do you dial this? It's got to be what this number is going to do to fourth quarter uh, GDP. Yeah. If well, it starts trimming away on that number, then you've got a ripple effect. Yeah, no, and it, it is. I, I just heard a number coming in. It, it's they, they're, they're calculating that right now, and it, it, it trimmed it away quite a bit, actually. Right. Um, right. You know what's intriguing, man? And this is what is is always kind of dangerous, and it's kind of what you just brought up, that if you're spending money, if any of us are spending money, and you're depending on what your portfolio is worth or something that's illiquid, you know what I mean, is worth, that's kind of weird, man. You know, because sure. I, don't, I don't, you know, I spend plenty of money, but I like to be able to spend money that I actually have, not that some investment's worth, because <laughs> on, sure. a, on, a, on a daily basis, man, you know, we've been in this a long time. It's like, okay, you know, some days are good, some days right. aren't good, you know what I mean? It's like, okay. But I, I can see how, you know, and this was the first big pullback in seven years, you know? So, right. you know. And so, yeah, two, 2000, uh, this is the lowest number since like 2009. Yeah. So, you know, th you know business number, now, it's, I, it's important that we don't put too much on one number, but it's certainly a number that should make you pause. That's for sure. And you know the U.S. consumer is strong, but the U.S. consumer also is a little bit emotional, so they can look at their overall uh, portfolio and maybe cause them to pause. But let's move more to the trading side. Look at, think about this. You know, I I, I have a theory that I think gold has lost some of its risk off. Uh, effect sure. on the market right. where people go. And look at gold down today. Because of the dollar rally, or because of the dollar, you know, you've got the, you know, the dollar sold off hard when, when this number came out, and yes. bonds rallied. But look at gold down on the day with the market down. That's kind of interesting to me. Oh, yeah, listen, and, and you know, uh, you, can, you can go that, okay, is the cryptocurrency doing it? Is, you know, right. it, it is, uh, you know, it's a small market. That, that, when I look at gold, I, you know, I, I know how small this market is. You can move it pretty quickly. And until it moves, you know, it's, and then to me, it's all about that dollar. That, that dollar is, you know, bottom line. That's what moves not only the metals market, but all those commodities. You know what I'm saying? I agree completely, yeah. Tom. Yeah. You know, so we'll see where this baby goes. Um, what's going to be intriguing here, and, you know, particularly, you know, when I was listening to you guys yesterday, what I was really digging... Um, is it, it's interesting whether you're putting on bull positions or, or bear positions. And if you, you, you want to listen to this program, folks, there's a lot of different ways that you can put it on. Because I was listening to, with you, and then I forgot who the guest was. But they were thinking of putting on one, one way, and you were thinking of putting it on the other way. And right. this is where, folks, that you can really get to understand what the strategies are. Do you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't mean that you're going to be yeah. right or wrong, but what... When you, once you understand the strategy, you'll understand what will happen if something else happens, you know? I thought that was right, a great right. program, Kevin. It was, like, really cool. Yeah, I mean, so, some of the things we do, and yesterday was one of those days where we actually, you have a chance to make money in either direction. Right, right, right. Right here, folks, 45 minutes from now, Kevin, we look forward to the program. You have a great weekend, safe weekend, and, of course, we look, we had a long weekend, Kevin. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Talk Believe me, I'm Mr. 305. The rest of the weekend, I'll be down in some, in some O'Brien. Perfect. Awesome, Enjoy. man. Gotta love it. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's down 111. Nasdaq is off five. S&P's down six and a half. And Coca-Cola. Uh, Coca-Cola Coca is uh, contracting in the U.S. Uh, not by a lot, but uh, taking it down 10 percent. It uh, contracted by uh, 1 percent uh, the amount of cases that they uh, sold out here, sold uh, into the uh, U.S. market. So you get it down 340 right now. You're trading at 46 bucks. And you already got monster volume, and you can see it's going into another high volume low that's been hanging out here. So let me just put this on a weekly for a second. Yep, look at that thing sticking out like a sore thumb. So let's see, 46.73. Yeah, if you dig into that number, man, it's going to be a little dangerous. And what they have to say out there, let's see. So. Yeah, looking at the numbers, I mean, it's 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 nothing dramatic, right? In terms of earnings per share, they they're right on the number. Uh, oh, uh, they, yeah, fiscal year comparable earnings per share. Somehow that's negative one versus plus one. Um, Organic revenue growth was plus four. Right? No, there's, there's no doubt. I mean, any other company that would be good, but um, there's more buried in here. I heard them talking about their growth in the Americas, maybe. Um, revenue declined six percent for the quarter. Some currency headwinds they're blaming somewhere. Yeah. I'm not drinking enough rum and Cokes. I had heard that they, uh, they, they're they doing okay with their calorie-free beverages. Right. And it was something like, I think, in the Americas or somewhere. So there's a further breakdown, of course, and yeah. people didn't like to hear that, you know, probably their bread and butter business abroad or beyond the U.S. is what may have suffered more than... Oh, yeah, that'd or be not grown as fast. Yeah. That'd be serious. Yeah. Natural gas, right? Yes, natural gas. You got it. I can take a look. Um, we're trading at 258.9 right now. So natural gas, man. Talk about the moves, right? Just backing Seriously. it up um, to Tuesday of this week. We're up at 270, under 260 right now. What's kind of nice here is I took a look at some of the contracts. They line up at 260 being an option that you could have to have bullish or bearish exposure. And, you know, you're within one penny, not not too bad at all. And I'm going to start off with the 11 AMs. 
So you have 260 up to 280 or 260 down to 240, right? Yeah. Now we're always looking at these spreads, which are kind of the out of the money or really just um, not even out of the money, but barely, you know, you're paying premium for right. these. But there's always the middle spread when it lines up like this too. If you just want a futures trade with 10 cents of exposure on each side or something like that, just right. to keep in mind, and that's going to trade almost exactly at market. So, which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I just right. pulled it up. You know, right. for natural gas in particular, yeah. yeah, 10 cents is a lot, but it's nice to have when you're about to get inventory numbers. Well, there is because there's plenty of folks that we even that, uh, you know listeners that trade the UNG, and you could actually exactly. trade that and just uh, you know get the fine risk period. And so let's just take a look while we. So this is the middle one. Right now you're trading at 258.97, yeah. and the market's sticking at 258.9 by you know 259, and uh. Almost equal because you're almost right in the middle of right, the spread. Right, right. Just to pull up. Which right, is pretty cool. Right at future spreads, yeah. yeah. So here would be your bear spread at 11 a.m. if you wanted kind of the out of the money. And that one, not out of the money, I should say. The bear spread has a full penny of intrinsic value, and then you're paying about $7 or 7 tenths of penny in premium. And then your bullish spread is going to be the one that's actually out of the money by a, a penny under that 260. So you're looking at 25, 2.5 pennies away, good. away from that uh, price point. And just to jump to the new ones and see how uh, they line up. The bullish spread, again, a little bit out of the money here. Cost you eight versus nine, I think, on for that extra hour. Not bad, 27. No. Yeah, so we even call it three pennies, right? Right. And you have till noon, and you need it away from 260. And then even uh, one last one, because the dailies do line up. Now, these are 50 cents. Your bullish spread cost you 15 as opposed to about 9, which was the noon, and then 260 down to 210. So four pennies or forty dollars, but and that's, that's, a, that's 50, a long time. That's a 50 cent spread, and right. that's until 2:30. That's huge. Yeah, really four cool. pennies seems pretty fair to have exposure on both sides. Seriously, for almost unlimited profit potential as in 50 cents that's that's as far as that contract should move in any realistic day but you never know so let me just look at this oh interesting so got a little pop there at seven o'clock you get the spike oh yeah my take is we're going downtown interesting okay so just because it, you see those spikes yesterday like you had, you had a seller at 220 yesterday okay that's uh, with that low out there is uh, two five. It's like two five seven. <laughs> it's like how low can you go? <laughs> this chart. Seriously, anything man. can happen when you're when I you're know. trading a chart that looks like this. So Amazing. Keep that in mind. Let's go to Victor in Paramus, New Jersey. Hey, Victor, what's going on, brother? Not much. Uh, what's going on with the SWIO? SWIR, let's see, what do we have here? So this guy is. Guy in the afternoon always talks about it, taking a pretty big hit. I don't know if it's done with or another G or. <sighs> Look at this thing. Sierra Wireless, this is pretty intense. So it's a wireless data communication equipment company. Um, this thing is like getting smoked. Oh, that's a monster ABC down. Let me see, let's pull this yeah, back. The, wood. the other ones aren't getting hit, like Qualcomm and all them. I don't know. The market seems like it's being held up on thin air. I don't know. This company has only a market cap of like $400 million before you compare it to like Qualcomm, though, you know, just to keep in mind of uh, they're not yeah, a competitor yeah. to Qualcomm, I assume, with that type of a market what's cap. The what's the institutional ownership? I didn't look that up. Yeah, yeah let's see. Here. So, <laughs> look at this, man. So, what this is doing, this is going after, this has, this has a... This not this has a high volume low that it's going after, but it looks like it's going to blow it away. Nine dollars and sixty nine cents goes back to our October of 2016, and this has already done more volume. So the uh, yeah, you know, you really can't tell much looking at who owns it. You know it. it some of these glare out at the beginning, do you know what I mean? That, you know, there's more buys than sells, but in this particular one here, it's, you know, kind of 50-50 deal. You know, there's not like, the big sells don't glare out at you, you no. know what I mean? So, let's see what they have to say. What are they saying here? As far as news, yeah. yeah. It's like some losses. Would you touch it or stay away? No, no, don't, <laughs> don't touch this thing, man, no. <laughs> this is like... This is, well, you, you got, 
You put this on a weekly, man. I mean, this is this is going for. It's past there. Yeah, it's going for the high volume low. I just brought up. Yeah, it's going for this nine dollar level, nine nine sixty nine. And you break that. Let me just see what happens if you break that. No, you're gonna break everything. You you break down. Oh man. Yeah, it's a total breakdown, man. The yeah. stock was up to almost 160 bucks in 2000. Yeah, you, you, you're going after this high volume low victor of 969. If you break that, it's going to be big trouble because you're talking at two dollars and sixty four cents after that, man. You know. 969. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. We'll get those natural gas numbers for you. And uh, there's no doubt we got a little volatility out here today. Come right back, folks. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, so natural gas stockpiles fell uh, 78 BCF, and it looks like they were looking for 82, medium estimate. You got it. So they're looking for a decline of about 82. They got a decline of 78, so not as much. Jumping back to the chart, there's your natural gas contract. We're trading at 259.5, call it. We drop about a penny on that news initially, 
48. And we'll check back in and see what kind of action we get. And uh, to recap some of those trades, you know, you're looking at anywhere between about two and a half pennies to four pennies. About away from 260. Away from 260. Yeah. Um, if you had, and that was having exposure on both sides. So we'll see. So let's go over and take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities out here and see where this baby's going to be shaking out today. You got, uh, oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, Century Leaks down a buck 26. You get GE off for 24 cents. Coke's the big one down 350. Um, Marathon Oil's up a buck 23. Cisco's up a decent amount, right? That's oh, yeah, they can move numbers last night. Yeah. CSCO. Now, this has been in a monster consolidation for a long period of time. Oh, it's going right to the top. So I, I happen to see on that previous screen 52 week high. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So there you go. 49.47 is the number. Oh, we're back under it. 49.68. It's going to be it's going to be a challenge up here. We'll see how they shake out. Can we get into their numbers afterwards yeah. as well? Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah, you that, that, that one's, that's that going one to be 213 though. Maybe. But they come out last night. That's I got you. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. So 76 to 78 earnings. Pretty much in line with estimate. Yeah. Uh, revenue up four to up four percent to up six percent. Estimate was two point nine three. Yeah, that's a good one. They beat on margins as well, sixty four to yeah. sixty five. Estimate had basically been sixty four. See revenue, they beat on marginally. And what's gonna happen here? The uh the, the, that's 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 a big one just before you dividend increase six percent. Fifteen billion dollar stock buyback. Yeah, that's a big. And one. there, you know, the it's that Hawa, okay, is going to be. Huawei, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah. This is where Huawei. Cisco can make a fortune because. How about that line too? You know, remaining amount for stock repurchases, including additional authorization, is twenty-four billion. Right. That's amazing. So that's almost forty billion dollars. Um, that they're just taking out of the coffers and right bumping up the price. Right. And yeah. You want to see something that's crazy, folks? I remember this when. They have 4.4 billion shares outstanding. I remember this in 1999, right? Yes. Because I was talking about it, like, do you know that how many shares, like, they have in relationship to people in the United States? Oh, right. <laughs> it, was, it, it, was like, sure. it was like crazy because, you know, they had just kept pushing out and pushing out. Watch, I'll bring this all the way back, yeah. and you're going to see it's pretty scary what happened with the stock, actually. <laughs> so look at 19, yeah, 2000, you're at $82. That's, that's it. That's March. Then 15 on the dot to the penny. $15 one year later. Yeah. Wow. Pretty intense. Yeah. You know, now that being said, what you have now is that it's basically, you know, cleared, you know, this consolidation for a long period of time. And the other thing being said in that collapse of 2000, they ended at 15. A lot of stocks ended a lot worse than 15, oh, right? Yeah. Especially in that oh, yeah. technology in terms oh. of 2000. They were just trading in such crazy multiples um, oh. coming into that level. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you know, if you, the, the Internet was out there, but if, if it was like now, folks, you'd be able to go back on, like, all our shows and the videos and, and all of this in, sure. in general, and you'd get your mind blown that the analysts were just saying all that matters is that how many eyes, how many eyeballs. It was about eyeballs. It's like, really? And yeah. no one was making money, but it was just hey, about eyeballs. What, what do we talk about today, right? Monthly users, something. So it's still all about eyeballs in a certain context. The daily users oh, for it, Twitter, no. monthly users yeah. for Twitter. Um, a lot of those companies, and that's why you're seeing them struggle, though. And that's why the market's struggling. They're saying, what's Snapchat really worth, right? Right. Because they, right. I think everybody, talk about what's a brand worth. Everybody knows what Snapchat is. Everyone knows what Twitter is. Doesn't necessarily translate into profit like Facebook. Right. I get a CSCO. So the question is in the den: Is it worth 50 bucks? Ah. Uh, yeah. 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 And it, what may happen here? This is a, this is an equity you want to keep your eye on because if the the, the squeeze is going to come on that other Chinese company, and yeah. this is the. They're in, well, that other Chinese company's in a lot of different businesses. Yeah, that but Huawei. Th Oof, they, this this is one of the big ones, okay? okay. This, is, this is the type of equipment that the government is talking about that other governments are putting in, large corporations are putting in, and the, the, the key is, is that who has the key to the back doors? Sure. And this is, you know... Hardwired. Yeah, so what, it, what does end up happening is I'd say Cisco has a 
better reputation. And it doesn't mean that they don't have keys to the back doors because they, they, you know, years ago, I remember that, that, yeah, that was a problem with Cisco too. There's keys to back doors to everything. The real question is who has the key and who's looking at it. Well, and they're legal keys and they're legal keys and, you know, as in, it's not a state-run sponsored. Yes, right. I mean, to differentiate right. what we're talking about here, I mean, it's, you know, as in well, Huawei, it's literally a state-run sponsored operation to have you know spies and everything. That's what they're right. alleging, at least. Right. Oh yeah. Um, right. No, which makes sense too, by yeah. the way. <laughs> if you don't think that happens, folks, right. that's that's it's the, very the battle is on, you know, of course, everywhere. It makes I mean? perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. So in that context, yeah, keep your eye on Cisco because guess what? Um, there's going to be a lot of countries that are going to have to basically buy. That that equipment. Yeah, you know? I would. Yeah. If I was a buyer of that merchandise, I would think really well, hardly about. Well, if you want to do business with us. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's that's it's, it's going to be that cut and dry. Let's go take a look at the uh, GDX out here. So, GDX right now, you get 5.7 million shares traded. Uh, yesterday we did uh, 49 million. Now it's just, which is pretty cool here. If you want to see how this shakes out. Now, yesterday, an expansion of volume, you got to a lower low. That being said, what you were doing is that you were going against the strength of 66 million. Now, this is really cool. This is really bullish what we have out here today, folks, because we're not going to do 50 million shares today. And you got under the low. What you, what you want to see if you're a bull and the gold equities is you want to see a close above 21.91. You know, we're at 98 right now. But, you know, we'll see sure. where this shakes out at the end of the day. But that's what you want to see because you'll have lighter volume. You already got under the low, you, you're going into the strength that had heavier volume, and, um, you know, it, it's just deviant enough because what the gold market had also done, the gold market had got to that higher high, couldn't handle the... Well, let's go look at it so we can show you what, what we had here. You, I love it when this always happens because this is like... This is like... You really want to wrap your head around this type of deal, folks, because it happens a lot. Gold got to... 1321. You had 214,000 contracts, yet it didn't hold price. So it's like, oh my God, you know, why? Why didn't it? Well, my take on that is that it always seems to go right back up there, right away. When that, that's a higher high. It took out the, the, the small swing of um, 1319, 136 contracts versus the 214, and now bottom line is it should go again. And so I think we're getting some market action right now. I saw a headline come across that Supposedly, the U.S. and China were far apart oh, on their reform this. demands, oh, and God. and then I happen to see the Den <laughs> saying, blink. Den saying, what just happened? We'll blink. talk about it when we come back. But U.S. and China made little progress. Surprise, surprise! There's not oh. going to be a super deal to save the day. Right. Um, and I guess the market's reacting. Let's see. Yeah, uh, the S&P just back. went down 10 points. Yeah. There's your there's your Dow. Yeah. There's your Nasdaq. There's your S&P. Yeah. Boom. See ya. No want to be a say right there, folks. Uh, we're coming right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 95. You get the Nasdaq off eight, S&P's off five and a half. And that little uh, dip right there, folks, uh, took the S&P down 13 points in a heartbeat. It sure did. We should um, have a little bit of volatility to finish the program and then yeah. beyond today, I believe. So uh, here, let's bring this up so you can see. Oh, yeah. This is uh, about as cool as you can get. 27, 60, 53 we were starting. Yeah. Right? Where were we? I'll put it this way. Look at this. So. It was the S and P was almost getting positive there you go. at that twenty seven forty eight, and then boom twenty seven thirty five, and now even off that we just went up nine points. Yeah, yeah. I, I and you can expect this. You know, the, the, the battle's on here. See the big battle right now, folks, is over this right where we're coming into. We, you know, you're coming into the December fourth, as well as October eleventh. That's your supply line. Sure. It, it's a monster. Definitely. Man. I mean, this is. This is where the, the monsters are just laying out, sitting there like... I said to you the break, right? I was like, I saw that headline come across. I saw it come across in red, which is yeah. which only means that they're just distinguishing it more they so it from the up. rest. Yep. Um, but it popped up, and I said in my head before I even, you know, bro, you were talking about something. I was like, ah, I wonder if that's going to matter, you know, really, yeah. because yeah. it's all just rhetoric right now. Right. And um, and sure enough, within like 15 seconds, then saying, whoa, whoa, what just what just happened there? Well, here you just brought up a great point. So what happens, folks, is this. Now this is. You know, markets are the same, but they change on a continual basis. The, because we have so many machines trading now, right, it, with AI, okay? Sure. Those machines, that's what's picking that up immediately. And they don't hesitate. And whatever, how those machines are programmed, right, whatever was in there, those machines didn't like. Boom, they hit it right away. Then they start figuring it out. But that's what that's what you have, and that's why those moves can be so fast and furious um, in a market that we have right now. You know, and it, it's pretty cool because you really want to understand that because there's, it's not like these companies are worth that much less this second or more sure. this second. Sure. <laughs> you know, it has to do with okay, what is that programmable trading platform? programmed for, they pick up that coming across, they decided that, no, I don't like what that says. I like what that says. And, you know, it's, that's why those moves are so dramatic. And, you know, what ends up happening, of course, on the other side of it is that the bids, if the bids are not there, sure. okay, you know, bottom line is that that's where you can get these downdrafts that are very fast and furious. And you could have humans starting the cascade that, that maybe computer and AI is picking up, even if they're not reading the press releases themselves. I'm not sure that I would agree that they're quite to that level, uh, that they're, they're reading all the words and deciphering a buy or a sell off of... Oh, yeah, they are. 
Yeah, yeah. You, that's, well, that's okay. Just show me. That, then let's go over. That's all my opinion. I would, I would love to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that, well, okay. that's that. That's Dave. Dave White agrees with you. I'm sure. I would just oh, love no, to see the breakdown. That's, I know. That's how this thing goes, yeah. man. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's that fast and furious, which is now they're all different. Like sure. if you're running a fund, oh, you're right. going to be different. No, no, no. The reason that Jim Simons is the best, okay, is that that's Renaissance, right? So. No one knows what really Renaissance does. Do you know what I'm saying? Whether they, because he's been doing it forever, and, and he's the guy that is the math whiz that. Sure. You know, so. Oh, algorithms, right? It, the whole they're deal, all right, algorithms. Sure. And, and, you know, he was doing this a long time before, you know, I'd say the last five years, there's, there's hundreds of funds that are doing it. Oh, definitely, right. You know, yeah. he was. And you know. supplied in a lot of under, other industries in similar fashions. Oh, yeah. In, you know, oh, statistical the, 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 analysis, probabilities, yeah. whether it's, right. There's no you doubt. know, wherever it goes. Oh, look at We got our man. He just came in from surfing. Perfect. You got to love we? it. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason from Major League Trading. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? Oh, uh, I know. I'm the worst guest you guys got on. I'm not so oh, like, we figured, hey, listen, man, we thought we'd hear from you in another couple years, man. I said to Tommy, I said, you've been there too long. Forget it, the man. Is and calling. we understand it. No totally. doubt. I, Don't worry. I got my, I got my flight home. With the like, I, I, I mean, even just now, of course, like, I swear to goodness, like, when I, when you guys call me, I got to know to take some crazy reversal position, like, right before that I got that. I took, I, I took a step outside my office. I'm, I'm long the S&P. I'm long Long oil, I'm long Nasdaq, and I come back. I'm like, what is going on? Like, why didn't we just drop 12? What was it? 12, 13 handles in like a it few was. seconds. 13 like, handles in a split this. second. Right, right, right. Totally. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to uh, br bring up some charts. But we can go over if you guys want to. You can pull up oil, and I can talk about a couple of trades. Sure. Perfect. Right yeah. No, that's yeah. great. We're yeah. gonna pull it up right now. What, what do you have Go going on with oil? Yeah. So actually, I was able. I got a really good entry earlier this week. I actually picked up that low near 50. I picked up a low 51.41 on the. That was on the 11th. So yeah. I think that was Monday. We got it right there. Uh, yep. So yeah, if you go to the candle from the 26th of December, which is that first really large up candle, and draw a Fibonacci if you guys have them on your screen from that high yep. to. To the high of February 4th. I got to do the continuous. That's what's going on. Um, yeah. That 50, so that 50% retracement was what I was looking at as well as it would have been a retest. Of okay, t tell me where to draw it again from. So it's the high of the 26th of December. Okay. So the high of that daily candle yeah. to the high of the daily candle on the 4th of February. Yeah. So which is nice. high I got you. Oh yeah, okay. And so that fifty percent. And this this is Perfect. like oh, I see it. Nice. We got it, man. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, it's traded before. It's traded before. So um, with that being said, our upside target on a swing is going to be fifty-seven eighty-two on that. So okay. I'll just you know I'll leave it at the daily analysis. And you had your first real good entry into the trend here, I believe, this morning. So. Uh, on the hourly time frame, I'm basically looking up for a move back to 5534 to 5549, which is the highs of the fourth. So that's what I have for oil. Um, nice. And I'll just stick it with the with the daily chart. But yeah, I'm, I'm long some oil contracts right now. And then we can go to the Nasdaq because actually this is a pretty clear uh, sequence to see here. Um, you can go to an hourly chart or a four-hour chart, okay. whatever your preference is, and the low of the week, so, you know, Monday's low, Sunday night, future's low to the high of Wednesday, the 50% retracement was 69.8375, and actually the low of last Friday to that overnight Sunday high traded the halfway back and then this is what's called the next measured move meaning we've already seen one completion this is the second move in the sequence so from the low of the week to the high it's just a standard halfway back for the week and we're pretty bullish on every time frame here i said put it back uh, to friday instead you know daily yeah. hourly so 71 uh 71 10 would be my target here 
on a you know probably take more than a day to get there maybe maybe a you know complete by tuesday of next week hopefully uh but that would be my completion target 71 10 there in the nasdaq assuming we, can avoid, I mean, we bounced pretty good off those headlines though oh man right we did the same thing they were talking about it in the den we jumped over rhetoric out of china watch out man watch out for that rogue wave jack jack thanks so much man enjoy the week <laughs> Hey, take care, guys. Have a great one, Thank man. You. Thanks so much. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow down 119, NASDAQ off four, S&Ps off six and a half. Um, get natural gas. Let's We're check back in real quick. So natural gas, we did get a little bit of an acceleration. We traded to 258. We traded to 261. Mm. If you were going volatility-wise, last thing you want to see it do 260, is, is which oscillate is that right around now. that 260 exactly. mark. Um, but the ones we were really taking a look at were maybe noon, 230. And uh, as anyone knows, natural gas oh, yeah. have some volatility. We'll see. And um, gold contract, not a huge reaction on that same uh, S&P in terms of those markets, but yeah, quite a little. And let's go to King Dollar for a second, see where that baby's at. Yeah, that's still at this highs. King Dollar, you know, bottom line, it wants to hit this high. I mean, it's, but it's right next to it. Let's see. 97.120, I think, is the high. Uh, that, no, that's the high of today. So 97.195 is the number. It's going to be so wild if 
just can't handle it again. It, so 75 one thousandths yeah. of a point. And it's staying right there. You know, now, oh yeah, but here, yeah, this is so, I love it when it's like this. So see this downdraft this morning, folks? That's where all the volume is, 96, 7, 70. So your probability is that it, we're, it's not going to happen, meaning that as we get into the close, that is vulnerable to get tested again. And the real question is going to be, the, the correlation of uh, what's going to happen uh, inside the S&P itself, meaning, you know, as we keep going throughout the day here. And you can see what was so dangerous about that move right there, folks, is that when the S&P just almost went positive, that would have been a big deal. Sure. You know, you're up 10 points, you get, a, you get down 13, 14 points, you yeah. almost got positive and whack! No China deal. No China deal. <laughs> Not no today, China it's deal. Like. Folks, stay right there. We got uh, Fast Mac coming up next. And I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.